Plaster Eyeballs, Round 2, Painting. We will find out today how we will add that color and paint to our eyeballs. Let's find out how we will paint our eyeballs today. We first need to figure out what color we're going to use. We're going to use complementary colors. They are across from each other on the color wheel. Yellow uses purple, red uses green, and blue will use orange. So which color was your eyeball? You will first start out with your iris. Your iris will be the large color circle in the middle of your eye. You will take your paintbrush, find the center of yours, if the flattest part, and draw a nice large circle. Then you will begin to start filling it in. Make sure you get inside the grooves of the plaster. Sometimes that means you must poke it with your paintbrush. Then fill in the whole circle. Make sure your edge is nice and crisp. Now we can use a cup to hold our eyeball so that it does not roll around. And we're going to use our same brush to dip in the black to paint our pupil. You just need to dip a little bit. Your pupil goes in the middle of your eyeball. Now we are going to move to a smaller brush. That will help us with the details in our iris. We're going to start with a new color. It might be darker, it might be lighter, to add the details going around the iris, almost like sun rays. You will draw those lines, leave a little bit of space, so you can add a next color. You will move to the next table to use your final color, going around your whole iris. You just dip your brush in, wipe it on the lip, so it doesn't drip and go all the way around filling those details in. We will now use black to outline our iris. Clean off that brush with the excess, dip it in your black, and go right outside the iris. Careful to fill in any divots. Work slowly as you go. Let your iris dry before we continue painting. Once your iris has dried, we will add the highlight to it. We are going to need to use the color white in order to do that. We will do a small triangle shape in the upper corner, either on the left or on the right. Carefully paint that in. Finally, to complete our eyeball, we're going to use the color red to give it that bloodshot, veiny look that goes all the way around. So you will take your eyeball out of the cup and hold it in your hand, the hand that you do not paint with. Do a tiny dip of red, wipe it on the lip so it doesn't drip and add your small little veins, almost like a Y shape. It comes from the back and goes all the way around. Careful with your fingers so you do not touch and continue until you finish the whole way around. Your eyeballs are now complete. Bring them to hang dry and put your brushes away. 